Yo, man, what's going on, y'all boys, man? You already know what time it is, man. Today, we have another crazy video. Another sad case of these girls must be stopped. Scared. <laughs> but by today's title and video, y'all really already know what to expect. But for you of those who can't read, let me read it for you right now, man. And that's why I said this is a sad case of these girls must be stopped. She was 30 when he was 15 when they decided to have a kid together. Yes, this is crazy. You know, and the reason I say this is because I don't even know how something like this can be broadcasted onto a media. You know, like without any type of backlash, without, well, I guess it's because it's not at the time it happened, but it's crazy to see how things happen to R. Kelly and all of these other type of mainstream people 20 years later, I'm not going to like talk about their situation too much because I don't know a lot, but just on the outside looking in, a lot of people will say that this young man was taken advantage of and his life was taken from him, just like his future. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, what can you do with a kid when you have a kid at the age of 15, 16, whatever the age he had a kid? Like I said, to each his own, I just know if this was a male, this would be a total different discussion. It would be police involved. They wouldn't be able to say nothing like this on national television, you know, but I haven't had a chance to watch this yet. This is only the title. So this is just how I'm feeling off the title. And I can see a little bit of the comments. And a lot of people are saying like, why isn't she locked up? So let's go on and see what this is talking about, man. I mean, they're about older now. So I know that it's probably really nothing they can do, but I'm just saying if it was a guy, I'm positive with something they can do. But as, as long as they live in a life and their kid is taken well care of and things like that, I mean, honestly, it's none of my business. You know what I'm saying? I just mind a business that pays me. I mean, y'all send me the video and I reacted to it. So I'm just giving my personal opinion of what I think on things. So don't get mad at me. But let's get into this video right now, man. And let's see what it's talking about. Ms. Dawes, Mr. Lewis, you two have been married for three years. You do, however, have two children together, one who's six and one who's one. Yes. You are 22 years old. Yes, I am. You had the oldest one when you were 16. Yes. Well, you didn't have it. But yeah, she had. she had. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I thought, wait, 16? Okay. So if this was the reverse, if this roles would have been switched, I only think this lady would have still been sitting here. I ain't gonna lie. She wouldn't have still been sitting there. Buddy, whoever, if this, she would have been 16, he would have been 30 something. He would have been locked up. 100%. We had, you, we, yes, the two of you had a baby when you were 16 and you were 30. So let me start there. How does a 30 year old get interested in a 15 year old? Not purposely, but it happened. I've had a lot of 15 year old boys through my house. I have a lot of sons. They weren't interesting at 15. Ooh. What did you find interesting about her? <laughs> and, I, and I like the fact that she, she slick shaking her. If y'all think about it, chat, she slick shaking her for real, for real. Him. He was very mature. He was educated and he was really funny. When and you say he was educated, wasn't he still in high school? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, my bad. I'm not supposed to be laughing, y'all. But that's actually very true. <laughs> what do you mean educated? Like, wasn't he still in high school? That's hilarious. And and that and that laughing, she said, Oh, he was funny. Hey, if she laugh and giggle. You can make them butt cheeks clap and jiggle. Like, that is the motto. But, hey, that is crazy. He definitely was still in high school like a sophomore. He was. <laughs> he was, but he could keep a good conversation. It wasn't like uh -huh. talking to a little kid where you can't stay focused. Mm -hmm. And How long were you with him before you discovered his age? Maybe a few months. Mm -hmm. Did you lie to her about your age? No, I didn't. You didn't? No, I didn't. I never lied about my age. Never had. Did you ever had conversations about what he did in life and all this kind of stuff? I mean, didn't didn't algebra come up? <laughs> no math. No math. And we didn't have a discussion about ages, like right off. I really didn't care. But did you have a discussion about life, like what a 15 year old does on a daily? Is go from one class to another, goes home to mom gets fussed at because his room isn't clean no. you, you guys didn't what did you talk about we talked about mostly me because i was on a rebound from a bad relationship mm -hmm. 
And so we talked about that. We talked about my children that I had and mostly about just our life period, what we were doing at that time. Okay. Nothing long time. All right. So you got married. You already had one child. You had another child. Now you're looking for a divorce. What has gone wrong? His addiction to is one of the main reasons Whoa. because I didn't know that. Come that explains a lot. <laughs> That definitely explains a lot, but, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's true. Ladies. That is true. Yeah. Now, let me ask you this. When you say a p addiction, does he just like p and you just don't like that he likes p or has p taken on such a large uh, segment of his life that it's been begun to impede on his ability to conduct business? Cause that's what an addiction is. It's an addiction to the where he's sneaking and doing it. Mm -hmm. Then he's um, pleasuring himself. Well, and typically, when one watches well, it, it's a solo activity and the pleasure happens. That's kind of the whole purpose of it. So it's not that he has an addiction so much, it's that you're, he's doing it and you don't like it. I actually don't have, a, I would be willing to watch it with him. I told him that. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, 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 son. Where'd you find this? Hey, she, she, hey. A couple to keep things open and where we could try to connect on that level, I would watch it with them. And his response was? I don't feel comfortable. Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Do you believe you have an addiction to pornography? A little bit. A little bit, I do. And when you say addiction, what do you mean? How often do you engage in, 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 in looking at Um, I say probably like maybe twice a week, maybe something like I that. Think I, we miss, I think we Two misuse the term addiction too much. We, we throw it around. It's like anything that I, you know, oh, I'm addicted to it. I'm addicted to it. You like porn and you watch it a couple of times a week. I don't call that addiction. I call that a habit. You know what I mean? It's something that you do, which is something that you enjoy. And addiction is something that grows to an extent that it takes over your life and you can't function normally because you engage in it so much. So let's not call it an addiction. So do you believe he's cheating on you at all? I'm not sure because I don't trust him. He lie a lot. Okay. Give me an example of something that has indicated to you that he may not be faithful. At his job, he was working at a plant. Right. And he had this woman who I thought was okay at first. She was looking out for him, but then she wanted to start buying him food. Then she's picking him up from the bus stop. He has her personal number. And it's not, I don't believe it was just a call to say, hey, I'm going to be late. Because when you're somewhere brand new, how in the world after two days is this woman going out of her way to do all of this stuff mm -hmm. for you? Was one of your coworkers doing a whole lot of, no, giving no. you a whole lot of extra care and no, niceties? No, Your Honor, she wasn't. Let me tell you something. Actually, uh, I think it was maybe like our first or second day on the job, and we was going to a different site. And she said, well, there's no vending machines here, you know. So uh, here, while we at this vending machine, you know, get you something to eat because there's no vending machines or where we're going. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have a lunch. And I didn't have any money, so she just took it upon herself, you know, to give me a couple dollars, you know, so I can just that get something to eat. That happened more than once. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I mean, a little food out of the vending machine, it's not like it, you, you, you're it. taking him to yeah. Wolfgang have, Pucks or something. I make lunches for him, the kind of lunches that people get jealous over because oh, they're lobster even, tails, even, they're this and that and the other. That day, though. That you okay. make him you lobster tails for yes, lunch? Yes, ma'am. Hey, that's what I'm thinking. Lobster tail for lunch? Like, that sounds like a actual wife, bro. Like, it sounds like a, a woman that you want to keep. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mom. My fiance be throwing it down on the grill. Lamb chops, salmon, scrimp, whatever you want to, lobster, whatever. But like like that, that's a woman who genuinely cares, you know, and love me, you know. But if a woman is willing to go to that extent to just learn how to cook and cook things and just try to even get through your heart by getting through your stomach, you know what I'm saying? Like she genuinely cares, bro, you know. But I don't feel like within this situation in general that he is cheating by her 
coworker or his coworker buying him something out the vending machine. Like it's not like they're going out to dang to a date. Like you know, Denny's is some weird stuff. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they just got a snack. I mean, if you ain't, if I ain't got no snack at work, at least you got somebody who will care enough to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like there's just somebody who's looking out for him. You know, but it's probably more to the story at that too. Why she feels like that? Because I don't feel like <clears throat> a woman would just be insecure if she haven't had a reason to be insecure. I make him lobster tails. He has steaks. He has yes, pasta I yes, that I, I make. Yes, I do. Sauces very, that I make from good. scratch. Mm -hmm. So there was no reason why. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Pay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Anything other than the the the. the the co-worker in the vending machine, because it's pretty light so far. No, we had an incident, and in we were having a conversation in the kitchen. And I was talking to him because I think he's a little friendly with women. And so I asked him, you know, I'm like, wow. what kind of women is it that you're talking to? Do you talk to the not-so-attractive women? Or, you know, do you spread yourself around? Oh, no. He only talks to attractive women. So to me, if you're not including all women, you sp basing it down to a specific type. And it's Did really you actually tell your wife you only talk to attractive women? No, while I was not pregnant, in those words. While no, I was pregnant. not in those words. What actually, words? No, hang on. What words did you use? I said, yes, I do. I, yes, I do talk to women. I mean, because they're my co-workers. I'm really? not talking. I'm not miss, talking miss to Doss? them. I'm not talking them, talking to them, trying to get with them. I'm talking to them on the on a work level. It's not a. Oh, but you hey, didn't or mention flirting. what they looked like at all. Did you go home and tell your wife there's a new good looking chick on the job that no. I got to show what's going on? No, no, all I right. did not tell her. <laughs> Mr. Lewis, we've been talking about you for a while, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to talk. Why don't you tell me why you think the two of you are here in divorce court today? Well, first off, you know, just like how she said, she don't trust me, you mm -hmm. know, and I have lied about, you know, porn and all that other type of stuff or whatever, but it has not affected, like, my bed bedroom or, you know, it hasn't you affected You taking me. care of business yeah. with her even though you taking care of business with yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Now, Ms. Ms. No? No. So, you disagree you with that assessment? Done. Disagree, whatever. You Yarna, disagree. Let me tell you something. She has these pajamas, so-called pajama panties <laughs> or whatever that, yeah, she has, you know, pajama <laughs> underwear. And so, you know, some, you know, she says, you know, when she put those on, that means she wants to give me some. I go and, you know, lay down or whatever and, you know, try to rub her up, you know, yeah. get her in the mood. Be careful. And so, you know, I go and, you know, try to get a little action. Uh-huh. Just like, no, like, well, what the heck then? <laughs> so if, if you trying to give me something, you got these underwear on, like, what am I supposed to do then? Uh, Miss, mi, mi, uh, <laughs> Hey. Miss Doss, do you contend that there is not a, as much affection and romance as you would otherwise like? No, and I know a lot of it have to do with me because of my distrust for him. Mm -hmm. And then I don't feel the connection we used to have. I feel like if you, you know, lie about something, he'll lie about anything. So I'm not as open with him as I used to be. Mm -hmm. And so we lacking in that area. And the lies that he's told, and I understand how that makes you withdraw, but are they just about the and the co-workers or have you caught him in other substantial yeah, lies not too long ago you gotta make sense. there was a text message <laughs> and i didn't understand it was a female and i'm like you know i don't know who are you who are you you know trying to get in contact with and so she says oh i must have the wrong number once i said me and my husband don't know you and so a few days ago, I get a pocket dial voicemail. Mm -hmm. And the same female that takes the phone accidentally, that's who he was laughing and joking in the background with. Oh. And so he got to be the world's <laughs> unluckiest man. <laughs> or coincidence. To pocket dial your wife while you over there chatting it up with some other woman. Mr. Lewis, did that occur? Not how she said it did. Well, you oh, tell me how God. it happened. Yeah, I'm, I'm at work, and so, um, yeah, I guess, you know, I, I pocket dialed her or whatever, mm -hmm. didn't know. I was, I actually pulled Accidentally out. dialed yeah, her? I what happened? Her. I guess the girl was talking, you know, she was talking, like, she was making, basically, we was all making jokes and about, you know, a trainee. And so, the trainee works down the street from, from where we live, and I oh, go. Point is, is, 
Yeah, you stuff know, you're like taking that. me around. You know, Mr. Stuff Lewis, you tell happen. very long stories. Stuff hey. like that don't just <clears throat> fall out the sky and happen. And it doesn't just happen. Well, did he, he, I didn't hear anything suspect in the conversation. But I didn't. I didn't. It's a, no, it was at his job. But the whole point is he said he didn't know a person by this name while she texts in the phone. But right. you have a co-worker with the exact same name. I understand what you're telling me. I get it. Now, I understand that. <clears throat> and I, I could see why. You know, she feels a type of way and, you know, like insecure or in a way to where she like, no, nah, this just can't be right. She's falling out of somewhat of an attraction, just not even, you know, sexually, but mentally and emotionally with him. She just done all around, you know, and I can I can see that, you know, but it gets to age to where honestly age don't matter. You know what I'm saying? When you're 18 or older, you date who you date, 19, whoever it is, like you date who you date, it is what it is. You grown at this point, but I feel like 15 I feel like 15 is pushing it. And the reason I say it's pushing it because, and I feel like that this, he probably do have some whatever addiction because I feel like his moral, like when he was like, shoot, ain't no problem with me. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no problem with me. It's because he probably watched that type of stuff on the hub. You know what I'm saying? So he probably, probably won't no problem with him. And I know a lot of situations, we see this on the internet. Teachers get caught with elementary school kids. Teachers got pregnant by elementary school kids and they like, you know, and they, late thirties or whatever it is. And a lot of people be like, I wish that was me. I wouldn't have told, but when it's reversed and it's a man, then they get a life. You know what I'm saying? They looked at as this pedo or this weird person or X, Y, and Z. But I think it just, it does have a limit when that thing can start, you know? And I feel like, you know, when you get to the ages of 18 and 19, honestly, whatever you decide to do, however many years you decide to date ahead, it's cool. There's nothing wrong with it because at the end of the day, like, I mean, now they're 22, or he's, what, 22 and she's 36. Like, nobody finna really look at them crazy because it's like, you know, she just feels like she did a younger guy, you know? But at the same time, years ago when they did start, it is something that's more so of like a, that's a little tricky because if that would have been a man, he would have been in jail, especially if she would have got pregnant. You know, the fact that this, the fact that I feel like with her being, I feel like if she decided that she wanted to mess with a 16-year-old guy and... He got her pregnant at 16. At six, when, when he was 16, like, I feel like that she should have been more careful knowing that he is very young still. And he haven't, and he honestly haven't lived his life. Like he's still in high school, a sophomore in high school, basically, that's gonna have a kid with a grown woman who can be his teacher, you know, and he's just, his life haven't started. I know right now, once he graduated, uh, really when he was in school, he was just thinking about providing for a kid. You know, like I can imagine how the, um, how the baby shower was, or how them explaining that just to the family, like of how the situation went. Like, did they keep it a secret? You know, like that would have been something not possible to ask if I was the judge. Like, how did y'all go about just the process of having the kid? You know, but the fact they've been married for like, this long, like they've been married for a while, you know, it just show like, I mean, it is a situation where if the roles would be switched that it would look so bad, but you know, um, just because it's a man, I feel like that people are not finna really think too much about it, you know, because they like, oh, well, he is, he is, this a dude, but I couldn't imagine a man being in this court, openly admitting what he did to a 15 year old girl. Cause nine times out of 10, that person would have been under investigation. That man would have been under investigation. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know your honest thoughts and opinions on this down below, man. Like I said, um, uh, I do feel like that, you know, this kid was somewhat stripped of what his future could possibly hold, you know, and I'm positive, like, you know, where his mindset is now that he possibly would have never had a kid. You know, he possibly would have still messed with women that's older than him, but at the same time, he would never had a kid, you know, and I feel like that, this is something that needs to be somewhat taken a lot more serious because every time something like this happens, it's just the laughing emoji. You know, it's not something that's taken serious, but R. Kelly in the situation, then everybody finna turn his music off. FM, X, Y, Z, throw him away. You get what I'm saying? But y'all let me know y'all thoughts on the situation, man, and make sure if y'all enjoyed this reaction video that you smash the like button, comment, and also subscribe for your boy, man. Let's go, let's go.